We had a blast on our first quarter. It's time for another quarter of fun, learning, and exciting challenges this second quarter. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., samahan niyo muli ang ating English Elementary Tutors. Tutor Jessa and Tutor Arlene. Tutor Rubelin, Tutor Jess and Tutor Rina. Tutor May and Tutor Ira. Tutor Ace and Tutor Anne. Tutor Joni and Tutor Annie. Tutor Jazz and Tutor Net. Every Tuesday is Two's English Day. Sama-sama natin itulay ang saya, pagkatuto at pagsasanay. Dito lang sa DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial. Hashtag Itulay Level Up. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information, and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello! Good afternoon! <laughs> Hi! Hello yes, good everyone! Good afternoon to our dear 2D, especially meron na yung um, early bird that is Lian Galang! Hello, yes. Lian! Who's the first one to greet in our mm -hmm. comment section? We also have Jem Ponce Moyore! Yes, hello sa inyo! Enrico De Lupin! Yes, Enrico! And all the viewers out there, thank you for always watching and being with us. Yes, there you go. So here today we are English Five every Tuesday with Tutor Joni and Tutor Emmy. Yes, we are all excited to see you this afternoon. And of course, with your participation, I hope you will enjoy this afternoon with us. Yes, this our topic for today yes our topic is there <laughs> uh, for quarter two week five the module is module three lesson two mm -hmm. you can have it there you can also check your module it's about identifying propaganda techniques yes so you have an idea already we have techniques Mm -hmm. Okay, so still good afternoon, my humabol, Denver J. Leonardo. Angeles, yeah, Gio Domingo. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so here we are in topic wow, five. We're almost there. Yes. Yeah. So we're almost done with our quarter two, but I know you are still there and very excited. So identifying propaganda techniques, five. And also, we would like to, yeah, uh, recognize our uh, module from the source of our central office, the mm -hmm. BLR. Thank you so much. And this module will be utilized this afternoon for our lesson. If you have that module too, you can refer to that. And we will okay. be your guide for yes. this topic. Yes. <laughs> Yes, there. So, Chudis, you if you are ready, get ready. Get your, okay, you can see your ball pen, your notebook, and modules. So, we are going to study together. So, let's begin to our journey. But before yes. that, let's have our review. Review. So, yes, Arkin, Stephen, are you ready? Sophia, so we are going to start with our review identifying stereotypes 
So I have discussed the stereotypes before, and mm-hmm. of course, with your my partner, Tutor Emmy, stereotypes that means they are fixed and overgeneralized beliefs about a class or group of people or things. That's right. So that's right. Let's try to recall by doing the activity in the next slide to our journey. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's check if you have understood the lesson mm-hmm. or you they can could still, still remember. remember. Yes. yes. Okay, so here we are. Kindly identify the kind of stereotype in each number. So first, do not believe what our barangay captain says. He is only a high school graduate. Mac told her neighbors what is that hmm. a racial b sexual c gender and d social class so what is that kind or type of stereotype okay Ta-da. so the answer is letter d social, yes. class. social class that's because it is referring two. to the kind of idea that you are not a graduate you don't have a hmm. diploma so you are not a good citizen or not an intelligent person just a simple are. person mm, okay so we or have correct an ordinary here. person mm-hmm. that's right so they have uh, uh have the correct answers here they okay. sent us yeah leanne martin john yes. yes thank you for number two girls are emotional so they cannot be strong leaders Okay, you what can choose from the choices there, A, B, C, D, racial, sexual, gender, or group of individuals. It refers to girls and sabi ni, yeah, sabi boys. Ni Martin Sipo. Let's try to check. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Very good. It's letter C. Yes. Now let's, Thank you. Let's letter C. Number three. Mm, look at the dog. He's, the dog is thinking. Number three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Filipinos are always late. That's the reason why we have Filipino time. So what is this? What it implies to uh, us Filipinos? It mm-hmm. is racial, sexual, gender, or letter D, group of individuals. Oh, they already have answers. Oh, have Martin and Enrico. Martin, thank you. Very fast. Hey, it's Enrico, a, very, yes. very alert Manalo. this afternoon. Steven. Steven also is very alert. Denver. Denver. Wow. Mm. Thank you. So That's the answer a, is? The answer is letter A. Very yes. good. It's racial. Wow. wow. Excellent. All they right, so that's very brilliant, students, yes. because they have recalled the types or the kind they of They got it correct. Yes. Journey. Wow, three points. That's good. Mm-hmm. Next oh. one. Yes, our objectives for this lesson is, one, define propaganda and different propaganda techniques. Okay. And two, distinguish types of propaganda techniques. And, of course, you will develop tolerance or show respect for others' point of view. So when you say stereotypes, you have also to consider your opinion and the opinion of others, your point of view. Moving forward. Yes. Yeah, there you have it. And you're going to target these competences. Yes, and you will be all with this after the lesson all right so let's have our first activity so our first activity is analyze the advertisements below then answer the questions that follow write your answers on your notebook or you may type it in our chat box so let's have the first one we have there a picture and this is the question for the picture yeah, oh, sabi ni Mar- uh, Arkin, na late po ako. Don't worry, you still, we still have yes, more activities. Yes, makahabol ka pa rin. Mm-hmm. Yes. Keep answering. How about this one? Activity one. What does the advertisement want to say? That's for number one. Look at the perfume there. Is it A, the perfume smells like the scent of a woman? Number letter B, those who will use the perfume will get big muscles. C, 
Men who will use the perfume are considered strong and real men. Yeah, the mm-hmm. title is muscle. Oh, no, not the title, the name, name. of the brand. perfume. Mm-hmm. Yes, the brand is muscle. And then letter D, men must use perfume when working out at the gym. Yeah. So what do you think is the answer? Yes, our answer is there. Yes, very fast. Yeah, they're saying it's letter D. So let's try to check. Let's go. It's letter, actually, it's letter C. Men okay. who will use the perfume are considered strong and real men. Oh, it was a good try. Let's try number two. So number good two. Try. Keep answering. Yeah, number two now. What words and advertisements are you advertisement are used to attract male customers? Is it A for real? B perfume and scent? Is it C muscle? Real men? Or D none of the above? Yeah, the word used to name the product yeah. or the item. What does it say? Uh, <laughs> yes, what the answer is. Let's try to have the answer. It's letter okay, C. Okay, that's correct. Very good. So they they get it correct. Have, yes, they already have the idea or kind yes. of an advertisement is that. Number three. Let's have another try. Number three. What type of propaganda technique is associated with the term real men, which tries to present a very pleasant image? Mm, just try to guess. Okay, is it Ben Wagon for letter A, B, testimonial, C, plain fox, and D, glittering generalities? Okay, let's try to reveal the answer to our journey. Yes. It's letter, letter D. D. Okay, yes. thank you so much for the answers, mm-hmm. Stephen and Martin. Yeah, oh, it's all mm-hmm. Stephen and Martin. Yes. Yes. Let's have activity number two. So, sing the lines of this advertisement to the tune of Silent Night. Then answer the questions that follow. Again, write your answers on your notebook, or you may type it in our chat box. To the journey, parang. I think we need we need to we need to sing. go go okay. to Remy. Can, can you sing with me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Sabay sabay tayo. Yeah, okay. sabay sabay tayo. Sa ready? Silent <laughs> night. Enjoy, Enjoy your bold night. night. Air is cool. cool. The room. The is nice the fan that keeps you happy at night the fan that helps you sleep at night sleep with the turn on all night wake up with this feeling fresh i fan the super quiet electric fan oh i can feel the christmas spirit yeah. already the breeze of the christmas oh thank you martin for the heart wow do you like our singing <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so sorry, but we we tried our best. <laughs> yes. yes. So let's have so. the first question, you know, Joni. Yes. So number one, what is advertisement all about? A. It's is it a Christmas song? B. A peaceful sleep. Letter C. A silent night. Or D. A quiet electric fan. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Enrico, for saying nice. <laughs> <We're the PR laughs> thank you so much for appreciating our yeah. talent. Guys, That's... Really sing the song. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's have the answer. Yes. Sabi ni Martin, so... Dipo, let's try to get the. Oh, yes, yes, it's letter D. D. You got it right. It's about a quite electric fun. With let's a go to song. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the second question. What characteristic of the product is emphasized in the advertisement? Is it A, happy, B, fresh, C, quiet, or D, cool? Number two, let's reveal the answer now. Okay, answer. 
It's letter C. Okay. Yes, you get it correct Thank again, you. Martin. Now let's have number three. Yes, habu-habu lang iba. They can get it right later. Okay, number three, what will likely happen to the product if the Silent Night tune and the iPhone brand are used in the advertisement? Okay, so A, the family will be singing a song before sleeping. It could be. And B, the product will now become recognizable. What do you think? Or C, the product will become super quiet. And D, the customer will immediately fall asleep. Okay, yes. now let's reveal the answer for number three. It's letter B. Wow, congratulations, mm -hmm. Denver, Carmel, Martin, Stephen. Wow. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now let's have the fourth question. What else makes the advertisement pleasant and appealing to you? Is it A, the money that you can save? B, the germ-killing action of the product? C, the use of positive words and descriptions? And letter D, none of the above. Okay, reveal the answer. It's letter C. Okay, yes. thank you. They have answers already. Mm -hmm. Now let's have another question okay for Johnny. number five what have you observed with the information on this advertisement here okay a only the good characteristics of the product are mentioned b a famous person is endorsing the product c the sentences are hard to understand or letter d it describes an aircon not a fan now let's reveal the answer. It's letter A. Yeah. Okay, so good characteristics are only mm -hmm. mentioned. Yes. Number six. What propaganda technique do you think is used when something is presented based only on its appealing qualities without mentioning its undesirable features? A, testimonial, B, transfer, C, card stacking or evidence stacking, D, plain fox. Number six. Okay, let's reveal the uh, answer. Okay, okay. so it will go five over yes. five for the activity two, but we still have number six. Okay, wow. continue. Anjali also got it to correct for number okay. six. All right. Very good. So you see, let's try to have this one. You see on TV, hear over the radio, and browse through the internet a lot of information about different products and services. Have you noticed that many pieces of information about these products and services are exaggerated? That is to influence or convince you to buy them. Now, in our yes. examples in the previous activities, a perfume and a fan are presented using positive descriptions. There is no mention of any negative aspects, effects, or disadvantages of the products, even though they might have some of these. Now, this is what we call, can you guess? Because this deliberate use of only good descriptions while covering some negative qualities, effects, and this advantage is misleading and wrong. So this is what we call, what do you think? It's propaganda. So what do we mean by propaganda, Choro Joni? Okay, so propaganda is an act of spreading information, ideas, or rumors to help or harm someone or something or to influence your opinion. Like, there's a use of media, social media, mm, yes. the radio, as discussed TV. by TV, mm. yeah, or the word of mouth. So you yes. can have spreading of information. And there are types, Chirojoy, types of oh, propaganda yes. techniques. Many types, actually, but we'll be dealing with just few which are common. Yes. Okay? So now let us read the following definition examples of the common propaganda techniques. All right, so number one, Chatter Joni. Yes, it is a bandwagon. The use of a thing or idea or trend that attracts growing support from a number of people. So, for example, Juan wants to buy 
a new Sonic cell phone because an advertisement shows that 9 out of 10 Filipinos prefer to use it over other phones. Mm, mm, okay. That's the first one. Support number. So let's have the number two, glittering generalities. It is the use of praises or pleasant sounding words and comments in favor of someone or something. For example, do you want to go to the most relaxing hotel in the city? Go to Leo's Lodging Hut. Enjoy the spectacular view of the city from a height of a thousand feet and breathe fresh air coming from the sea. There is moral more. Pumper your taste buds with mouth watering dishes and refreshing drinks. Okay, can you get the glittering generalities there? Praises, pleasant sounding words. Now let's go to the third kind or third type. You have the name calling. So this is the use of negative, okay? Take note, negative descriptions, a comment, or ideas that are labeled or tagged to someone or something. So, for example, Village X is a den of thieves and a hideout of criminals. Snatchers run to the village to hide. So, demolish Village X. All right. Mm. So, you so have the clue negative description. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the next one, which is Plain Fox. The use or portrayal of ordinary people in real life setting to promote an idea, product, or service. For example, Mano Badong, a jeepney driver, goes home late at night. Tired and hungry, he checks the kitchen if there is something for supper. There is not any food left. Then, suddenly, he sees a pack of yummy noodles in the corner. He cooks the noodles in less than five minutes. As soon as he is done, he says, Yummy noodles! The noodles for everyone like me. Yes. And next, Tilder Joni. We have testimonial from testimony. The mm -hmm. use of words, expressions, and recommendations of a, a famous person to promote an idea, product, or service. Okay, this is very familiar. You can see this on TV with commercial brands like that, but mm -hmm. in different uh, propaganda technique. But this one is based on words. And that's okay, one so of the example, most popular Tudor Joni. Yes. So that's why it's very common. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a famous singer is taking on TV about a new cooking oil. She says that her cooking has improved and the food she cooks has become tastier because of this cooking oil. Okay, yeah. so famous singer. Okay. Famous now, actress, like that. Yes. Now let's have the next one, which is transfer. Projects or transfer certain positive or negative qualities of a person, ideology, or object to other things and people that make them more or less attractive. Like, for example, a new motorcycle called Horsepower 500 is being introduced by Salyan Motors. Designers say that it will be the fastest motorcycle on the plane. So, it's just like when we sang the song because you can relate to the christmas song and the famous mobile phone brand iphone their qualities are somehow transferred to the product which is the electric fan just like this one here it's horsepower so we have that stallion motors fastest motorcycle all right now let's have the next one to Joni. the last one last one is card stacking so this refers to the stacking of cards in favor of a person, product, action, or idea being talked about. Example, why should we vote for Juan? Well, mm -hmm. he is smart, aggressive, and tough. He won't get out in any argument, and he has always won debates. He is a perfect person for the position. 
Yeah, so the cards being stacked are the qualities and reasons that are provided in support of the thing being described. So this technique actually involves the deliberate omission of certain facts that may make the thing or person look bad. Okay, I think everything is clear now. Yes, so let's have the seven, seven propaganda techniques. Yes. Okay, now let's start with bandwagon. Uh, Littering generality. Yes, Martin have mentioned all of them. Yes, so the third seven. is name calling, plain fox. You also have testimonial, transfer, yeah. and card stacking. Yeah, and also yeah. Leanne mentioned all of them. Now let's try to apply what we have learned today. Are you ready? Ready. Ready? Okay, let's put your understanding of the lesson to the test. Let's have this application. So the instruction is read the following advertisement statements and situations and identify the propaganda technique used in each situation. Pick your answer from the choices given and may, you may type it in our chat box or it could be you can have your separate sheet of paper. All right. So these are the choices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, okay. seven common Complete propaganda seven. techniques. Yes. Let's have number so one. Angel is also ready. Enrico, ready. Yes. Okay, proceed. We to... are all ready. Gerard Johnny, yes, number Let's one, please. Go for number one. Okay, so get ready. Buy A1 shoes. These are the shoes that will match your classy style, your great looks, and your strong personality. Mm hmm. What is that? Oh, let's try to check. Very good. You're wow. correct, Martin. Yeah, and Enrico. Amazing. Yes. yes. Let's have number two. Almost everybody in our city is using Hello Telecom. Buy one if you want to be one of us. What is it? Number two. It's... Let's try to check. It's bandwagon. Bandwagon. Yes, that's yes. correct. Let's have number three. Twitter Joey. Number three. A candidate told his supporters not to vote for his rival. He says that his rival's grades in elementary and high school were below 80. He also called his rival cheap. Okay, what is that? Remember the negative? Chodor Joni, I'm just concerned because almost everybody answered uh, testimonial for number two. Mm, Let why me just is that? try to go back there. Yes. Now, it's actually bandwagon. Try to look at the statement. Let me just try to make it clear. So it says there, buy one if you want to be one of us. So there are many. Still remember the... The example also in our bandwagon earlier, 9 out of 10 like that. So the clue there is buy one if you want to be one, one of us. If you want to belong to the many, you have to buy this so that you'll be one of us. So that's bandwagon. All right. Now let's. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer Emmy, for elaborating that yeah, one. Let's now move to number three. Okay, and so... the answer is. Yes, name calling. That's mm -hmm. correct. So they got it correctly. Yes, they got it correct. Denver, Angeli, Carmel, Martin. Yes. Now let's go uh -huh. to number four. So Aling Dorai only sends and receives money through Kabagwakan Pawn Shop, the people's pawn shop, because she believes that it welcomes ordinary people like her. So what do you think is that? There are actually clues there. Yes, you can easily check. Mm, the These ordinary situation. people like her. Mm -hmm. Martin has the answer. Let's reveal. Yes, you're correct. It's plain fox. Very good. Now let's have number five, Tudor Joni. Okay, so for number five, a salesman talked to my father about a new battery. The salesman enumerated 10 good things about the battery okay we have 10 he did not mention any negative quality of the product so what is that mm, they were, uh, martin has an answer already now let's try to reveal, reveal the answer yes 
Yes, you're correct. Yay, it's marvelous. Card... <laughs> Excellent. It's card stacking. All right, That's let's have right. number six. The jeepney driver says he is using Carabao tires. He says that this brand of tire is very much like a real Carabao. It is durable and dependable, and it keeps working under all weather conditions. What do you think is that? Okay, easy, for number easy. six. <laughs> yeah, send your answers now. The answer oh, is yes. Yes. Wow. Martin is very yeah, fast wonderful. in typing the answer to our Joni. Yep. Very yes. fast. Next, uh, we have we also have Stephen Carl. Mm -hmm. Now let's try to have the application number two. To our Joni, let's go for number two. You have to. Okay, be careful. You have to match the advertisements in column A with the propaganda techniques will be given in column B. Okay? Yes. So matching. That's have number one. Boy Boy's Burger, the best tasting hamburger in town. Okay, what is that? Come on, come on. Yes. Oh, Enrico got four over six, even six over five. Wow, five thank you, thank six. you. Wonderful. Yeah, passing mm -hmm. scores they got. Yes. <laughs> okay, the correct answer number one is letter B, glittering generalities. Okay, now, that's correct. Have number, number two, two. Okay, use rainbow toothpaste recommended by nine out of ten dentists. Okay, you have their nine out of ten of 10. Yes, that's the clue to our journey. <laughs> yes, I've been emphasizing. Mm -hmm. That's so easy for you, Judith. They didn't have the, the answer, answer for number two yet. Okay, two. Let's, let's try to reveal it now. It's Yay. letter E. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's have number three. OA1 Express Padala for a quick dependable and dedicated service what is that easy easy mga tutis okay we are now in number three faster so the first answer to reveal it's there <laughs> wow martin got it martin. B or C. wow yes it can be b or it can be glittering realities or can be card stacking. Very good. Now let's go. Let's move, move. Let's go to number four, Tudor Joni. Okay, four. Because we are a family and a family beats the same heart. So watch Family Love Channel. So what is that? Family. Correct answer is... Yes, it's letter A. Congratulations, Enrico and Martin. Oh, yes. Let's have number five. Listen to DYXL, the radio station of every simple and hardworking Filipino. What is that? For number five. For every Filipino. <laughs> Okay, let's reveal the answer. It's letter G. Correct. Yes, very yes. good. Now so, let's have numbers. Moving on to number six. You have, hi, I am Jan Timberwolf, a singer and composer, saying no to dengue, but yes to wolf insecticide. What mm -hmm. type of propaganda? We already have the answer there, Tito Tony. Very fast. So, yeah, let's reveal. It's letter F. Excellent. Wow. Good they have mastered all the very techniques fast. already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's correct. Now let's have number seven. Let's avoid those people. They are hungry alligators. So what do you think is that? Number seven. What is the correct answer for number seven? Oh, we already have the answer there. Let's check. Let's reveal its letter D. Wow, excellent. Now let's do the assessment to their Joni to check if, because almost all of them have gotten the perfect score. So let's now try the assessment. 
So what you're going to do, you're going to read the paragraphs below, then answer the questions that follow. Again, you may write it on your on um, our chat box or on a separate sheet of paper. So let's try to read first yes. the first paragraph, Tudor Joni, and I'll read the second paragraph. Okay, so Juan is upset with his classmate, Pedro, because the latter keeps on buying things that his friends have. Juan also does not like Pedro posting a video of himself dancing on Mobile Jam, just like what his friends are doing. Juan calls Pedro gullible because he's, he immediately believes what he reads on social media. Pedro recently applied egg white all over his skin after reading a post of a famous blogger that says that the substance will protect people against COVID-19 if they will use it like a lotion. The blogger apparently claims that the egg white has so many good properties without any unpleasant side effects. So our first question to our Joni for this paragraph. Yes. Why is Juan... Why is Juan upset with Pedro? Mm -hmm. You can have letter A. Pedro is reading a famous blogger's post. Or B. Juan does not have an expensive mobile phone. C. Pedro keeps on buying what his friends are also buying. And D. Posting yourself dancing on a mobile jam is a shameful thing to do. So what's your and answer? The correct answer is letter C. Yes, yes that's yes, right. Yes. Now let's go to number two question. Which sentence in the paragraph illustrate an example of a bandwagon? Try to look at it. Is it A, one and two, B, two and three, C, three and four, and D, four and five. Try to look at the paragraph there. So which sentences in the paragraph illustrate an example of a bandwagon? So let's reveal the answer now. It's letter A. Okay. Yes. Now let's now have number I have Anjali. Mm -hmm. Anjali and Carmel also participated and sent their answers. Yes. That's correct. Should I join in on number three? Yes. For number three, what kind of propaganda technique is used in sentence four? Look at sentence number four. Yes. Look at there. Okay. Pedro recently applied egg white all over his skin and after reading a post of a famous blogger that says that the substance will protect people against COVID-19 if they will use it like lotion. So let's try to have the choices now. Is it A, transfer? B, name calling? C, bandwagon? D, testimonial? So, so answer so it. Letter D. Yes, yes letter very D. good. Now let's have number four, Tudor Joni. Okay, for number four question, which of the following is an example of card stacking? Choices okay. are. So A, the egg white has so many good properties without negative effects. B, Pedro keeps on buying things that his friends have. C, the substance will protect people against COVID-19. And D, Juan calls Pedro gullible. And the correct answer is letter A. Yes, right. yes, yes. Now let's have number five, Tudor Joni. Yes, for number five, what word in the third sentence is used as name calling? Remember Try name to... calling? Say which one. Mm -hmm. Try yes. to look at it. Third sentence, number three, number three sentence. Okay, let's have the choices. Is it A, Juan? B, Pedro, C, Gullible, D, social media. The correct answer is letter C, Gullible, meaning easily yes. persuaded to believe something. Okay, okay that's a number C. six, Tudor Joni. Okay, so <laughs> now, which of the following is a lesson that you can learn from the story? Okay, lesson. Okay, the choices. Okay, so first is do not believe what you see or read on social media right away. Or letter B, 
Avoid posting dance videos if you are not good at dancing. <laughs> okay, so maybe do not post it. Or letter C, an egg white is meant to be cooked, not applied to one's skin. Or you have letter D, it is not good to call your classmate gullible. The so correct lesson. answer is letter A. Let's have number seven, Jerry Johnny. Yes, and number seven. Which of the following propaganda techniques is not used in the paragraphs above? Choices are A, bandwagon, B, name calling, C, testimonial, and D, plain folks. And the correct answer is letter C, testimonial. There is nobody there that is trying to testify about the product. Okay, yeah. let's have number eight, Tudor Tony. Okay, almost there. Eight, if you were one, how would you tell Pedro about your observations without offending or hurting his feelings? Okay, Choices. <laughs> so you have here, A, shout at Pedro so he will wake up from his madness. Or B, talk to Pedro with understanding and tolerance. C, post a comment about Pedro's crazy actions online. Or letter D, warn Pedro that Mobile Jam is a dangerous phone app. So what are you going to do? And the correct answer is, yes, very correct. Leah, Angeli, Denver, Martin, yes. Yeah, Carmel congratulations. Also. Now let's have correctly. number nine. Way to go. Two more. Yes, nine. How did the propaganda techniques affect Pedro in the story? Choices, Shooter Emmy? It made Pedro crazy. It influences his beliefs and actions. It made one upset with his classmate. Or it makes us realize the importance of propaganda. And the correct answer is letter B. And the yeah. last question. Should yes, I prepare your answers now. Number 10, what do you think is the importance of understanding these propaganda techniques that we have discussed this afternoon? A, it enables us to be thoughtful and careful about what we read, see, or hear. B, it increases our knowledge about the universe and the whole world we live in see it gives us practical training to become a lawyer in the future or d it makes us smarter than other people the so correct your... answer is letter yeah. a Woo! Jitter, Joni, that was savvy but you think our duty is figure that out fast congratulations yes yes you did it a little Before... bit tasky for them mm -hmm. to realize and then analyze some of the questions there yeah <laughs> for their assignment they are to name at least seven advertisements on tv radio in internet or posters or billboards that you have seen or heard and identify the propaganda technique used an example is provided below as your guide so write your answers to a separate sheet of paper you can send it to us to the journey right yeah so we can we post it next available. Yes, yes we can post that next meeting or next uh, tuesday all right yes. so now let's wrap up now we're running yes. out of time by the way Thank you so much. You can post your scores there of mm -hmm. what will be the score over 10, your score. Yes. Wow. So we have Enrico there, 7 over 10. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So very wrap good. up now. Propaganda is an act of spreading information, ideas, or rumors to help or warm so harm someone or something or to influence your opinion. And... The seven types of propaganda techniques are name yes. calling, glittering generalities, plain fox, bandwagon transfer, card stacking, and testimonial. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to bear in mind duties, just like stereotypes, propaganda, they influence your ideas or opinions about people. So therefore, you have to recognize them and make better and wise decisions or actions. Yay! Yes, well that's done. That's how important it is. Yes. Okay. So send us a two thumbs up for today. Thank you so much, dear Judies. I am your amazing, beautiful Judy, a Tudor, Tudor Jody, and Tudor Emmy. Bye for now.
Thank you so much for staying with us. And thank you so much for always watching us. So Angel, Julianne, Arkin, and Martin yes. for participating. Angeli, we also have Leon. Thank you for always there. And Steven, Carmel. They can, mm, they can yes. send to us their assignments. We can post that. They have yes. to. For yeah, they next have to. week. Mm -hmm. for next week in our facebook account bye bye yeah. thank you you can do your homework now see you so up next you so is much. english six with children chats and children janet bye bye thank you thank you and thank you dear parents for always there for us also watching yes bye bye everyone bye bye thank and you. bye bye po from denver j calextero bye bye po tutors Yay, thank you. See you. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!